Well, hello, hello, hello. It's uh, time for just a little short vlog. It's been such a long time since I've been, uh, well, since I've vlogged, since I've been out the house, pretty much. It just seems to be kind of dragging on this, uh, this pandemic. So restrictions are still in place, so I can't venture too far. So I have come just along the coast from where I am. Um, it's just a couple of minutes drive. I'd actually been here before, I was here, when was I here last week just to do a bit of kind of scouting of the location um, because it is very uh, based on the level of the tide and I wasn't too sure what the best level should be. Should it be completely out? Should it be completely in? Bit of in between. So I kind of, I did take a photo there and I'll show it here. I'm uh, quite happy with the photo, um, but I, th I think with the, the visibility of the actual pipe and the rocks takes a wee bit away from the actual structure. Um, so I've come back uh, today. It's actually quite a nice day. There's some really kind of interesting clouds going, going on in the sky. And I think there's a bit of movement, which is ideal, because what I'm going to try and do is do a long exposure as long as I possibly can to get a bit of movement in both the water and the clouds, uh, just to soften everything up. Um, there's some nice light coming through as well, but unfortunately the light, I'm shooting that way behind you guys, but the light is coming from my left. Um, it might break through a little bit, but there's nowhere really else I could position myself. I'm kind of on a, a little, uh, like pretty much just the edge of a beach. There's a beach behind me there, it's Musselboro Beach, and just over there is Portobello Beach. Um, and I'm kind of in between it, and there's uh, this structure just is sitting, sitting here. Uh, so yeah, long exposure time, that's the plan. Uh, try and get some movement of this, obviously the water to soften things up there. Get a bit of movement of the clouds, we'll see. Um, and there's a lot of birds, there's lots of seagulls you could probably hear going about as well. So obviously long exposure makes them disappear, which is ideal. Uh, so yeah, I'm just, what I'm gonna do now is just have a little look around to see where an ideal vantage point is. Um, you can see behind me, there's actually quite a lot of rocks and rubble and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, currently the, the object, the kind of markers, the pipe marker, is, is sitting in such a place where the horizon is actually right in, in the middle of it, which is not ideal. I don't know if it should be higher or should be lower. I'll try and suss something out there. Um, but we'll see, I'll have a wheel wander around and see what I can come up with. Uh, the tide is still coming in, so I've got to be quite aware of that. I don't know how far in it comes. Still got another hour or so before it gets to high tide. But uh, looking at these rocks, these don't look like they have any seaweed or anything on them, so I should be safe. <laughs> Not going to get washed away. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to have a wee look around and see, see where I could uh, take the shot of the pipe marker. So I found a location, quite nice, quite happy with it. Um, it's quite close, closer to the water than what I was originally planning, which is fine because I'm at quite a nice plane to where the structure is. Uh, the only kind of thing I'm seeing at the moment is there's a big tanker, huge big boat anyway. It's in the, it's really quite a bit in the distance, but the weather, that well, the sun, which as I was saying is kind of behind where you are, um, is lighting up really nicely, but unfortunately that's kind of taken away from the structure itself, because it's, I really want this to be a minimalist, clean image um, of, of, of the structure. And unfortunately, because of that uh, tanker in the background, it's, um, it's taken away from that, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, it might be a wee bit of a Photoshop manipulating, just a wee bit, clone it out a bit. Um, I'm, I'm currently waiting at the moment because it's bang right behind it. So if I was going to do any cloning, uh, I'm, I'm, I'll wait until it's passed. Uh, it is moving, which is good, but it's moving at obviously quite a slow pace. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to hang back here, happy with this position, keeping an eye on the water level doesn't rise too much, and waiting for this tanker to go past and then take some more shots. I was down here a wee while ago and I took a shot, I was actually further over towards um, Portobello and um, I put that up as a video uh, and um, a local photographer, Simon I think his name is, um, he suggested that I come along here to take a photo of this. I never really knew about this because it's actually behind buildings, there's a whole bunch of buildings behind me here 
If you can't actually see it, uh, and I don't tend to go over to the Musselburgh um, beach too frequently. I'm usually over at uh, Portobello beach if I'm going to go to a beach to take some photography or just hang out. So I've, this is further over to Musselburgh, uh, to Musselburgh and so I never knew about this. So big thanks to Simon. Uh, if he has got a website and things, I'll actually link him below. Uh, he's a local photographer and he pointed me in the right direction. This, so thanks. Thanks for that. Uh, as I said, I didn't really know anything about this. It's terrible because it is just around the corner from where I live. Um, but anyway, I'm getting back to this. I, as I said, I've got the six stopper on this. I think what I might do is actually bump this up. I've got the 10 stopper as well. So I might put the 10 stopper on instead. Uh, get a look, because it is actually quite bright. That sun is, comes and goes behind the clouds. So the minute the sun comes out, it gets really quite bright. So I think I might up that to the 10 stop, the big stopper, Lee's big stopper rather than the six stop, uh, that'll allow a longer, a longer exposure and hopefully soften this out a lot more than what I've been getting in the past. Although I quite like it, there's a bit of movement in the water, but I'm hoping for a wee bit more in the sky, which I'm not really getting, not achieving with the, the six stop. So I'll swap that out, put the 10 in and see what kind of results we get from there. So we'll move to the 10 stop, which is working a lot better. Uh, there's just not enough movement in the sky just to have that six uh, stop. So what I'm currently shooting at, F10, 25 seconds, got the timer on obviously as well. So I've, changed, I've, I've swapped the camera over to portrait, uh, just again, just to minimize every kind of distraction in the background and just zoom right in. So I'm, I'm, I'm at 105 millimeter right in to the pipe marker. Uh, there's nothing else in the scene apart from water and sky. There's rocks here, but I've not included them at all. It's just, again, very minimal. 25 second exposure at F, F10, two second timer, and let it do its thing. So I'm mixing things up a wee bit now. What I've done, I'm exactly the same position. I've not changed at all. Still in portrait mode, but I have put the polarizer on. Um, so that has darkened the scene down quite a bit. The sun is dropping. It is evening time. It's about half five, six o'clock. Uh, so the sun is dropping. So the scene is darker. So I've upped the exposure to 30 seconds um, just to kind of get that nice balance. Uh, but what I'm, I'm, not, I'm still not too sure about the expo the, having the, the polarizer on. Polarizer is... It's not having too much of an effect of the sky, but what it is, it's really darkening down the water because it's cutting out that reflection that the sky has given the water. So it's nice. It's really kind of punching the blue of the, the, the water up, but I think it just might be a bit too dark because what I'm really wanting to achieve is that structure to be just standalone pinnacle point. That is it. Whereas right now we're getting a, an obvious distinction between water, where the horizon is, or Fife really, and then where the sky is. So there's really quite a hard line there. And, and as I said before, I can't position myself where there's no line cutting through the structure. So what I'm gonna do, I'm doing a couple of variations. I might take the polarizer off, but really open up the aperture quite a bit. I'm at F10, so I might take that take that back down quite a bit. Um, F8, maybe, maybe even more uh, to really brighten the scene up. So we're really getting just a bit of movement from the water and the sky with the clouds but really the main point is that structure. So that's what I'm gonna try now, see if that is to my liking more than the darker water. We'll see. Well, back in the van. Uh, yeah, happy how that went. It was, uh, it was getting a bit cold there, but I was trying different uh, compositions towards the end there. The sun was changing, the light was changing, uh, it was getting quite pastely so I actually ventured a wee bit further up onto the higher rocks but it was further away from the actual structure itself so not quite as as, as kind of intimate as close um, but it made full use of the, the kind of surrounding uh, pastel colours that were developing in the sky and obviously the sea with it reflecting that. So yeah, happy with that. I'm going to head home, look at the pictures on the big screen, but just judging by what was on the back of the camera, a really quite a nice minimalistic, simplistic uh, long exposure with some nice colours and some nice clouds that are kind of passing by, which was what I was hoping for. So happy days. Um, so yeah, head back, have a look at the photos and 
yeah, that's another vlog done and dusted. I hope you enjoyed that one. And as I said, I kind of introduced a wee bit more of the settings I've been using for especially for that kind of uh, shot because it was a very specific image I had in my mind about how to get the water um, as smooth as possible without losing too much of the sky information because there were some really kind of bright spots in the sky as well. So if you open up your exposure for too long, then that becomes, you know, lost, lost information. Just there's nothing you can do with that. Yeah, I can't recall much of that one. So it's just kind of finding that happy medium, that balance, hence why I introduced the polarizer, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so a nice variation of of options to, 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 to take from the, the shot as well. So all good. Anyway, I shall head home and I shall see you guys in the next one. Take care, see ya. Thank you.